amp hour nickel, or excuse me, lithium iron phosphate batteries, 100 amp hours, 60 of them. Um, the red cable over here is a disconnect in the back, at the middle of the pack. It uh, goes to the back bumper and shuts it down. If you have a uh, this has got part of the BMS battery management system in it. This is where you put the electricity back in. It has a magnetic switch on it can't drive away with it plugged in. Okay. Uh, inside, I'll tell you about this stuff. Okay, we've got, this is a tachometer for the motor. Ignition's on right now, so you can see it's zero. When the system's energized, the check engine light is on. This light tells you that uh, the system is ready to be energized. This is our motor amps. This is our battery voltage. This is our 12 volt battery voltage. The 12 volt battery is charged from the main battery pack. This is our touchscreen display for uh, the battery management system, if I can get in a good spot. And it's touchscreen. Uh, goes through and tells you all your parameters. Tells you your batteries. Okay. And there's four groups of batteries. You can see the voltage on every battery. Okay. This tells you your current motor or current. This is your battery voltage. This is your state of charge, like a fuel gauge. This is your highest battery, 3.1, 3.313. Now I've I've drove it about 20 miles today. This is the lowest battery, 3.273, and it tells you which battery that is. The lowest is in four group four, cell number 12. There's 16 cells per group and four groups. There's the sound system. The heating system's all electric. Turn on the fan, get you a green light for airflow. And there's high, and it's on the floor, and it's hot already. And you've got a low setting with just one element on. Let it cool off a little bit, turn off the fan. Okay, the bunch, the button for the regeneration is disconnected, but that was to bring on regeneration. That button could be used for field weakening or something as your, your what you want. Okay, this is a, you can push this knob in, it shuts the circuit breaker off. In case you have an emergency and you need to shut it down, that's what that knob's for. Okay, four-speed transmission, no clutch. Okay, here's... Uh, Here's a battery, the battery charger. It's a Manzanita Micro uh, 250 or 20. It's a 20 amp with buck, buck boost. So it'll run on 110 or 220. This is a kilowatt hour meter, just like your power usage for your home. It records the usage to recharge the truck, okay? Okay, I'll go to the other side. Okay, here's the, I can't see it. Um, this side has got, there we go, this side has, this is the DC to DC converter, takes the main battery, battery pack voltage and charges the 12 volt battery so you never run out of power for your 12 volt system on your lights or anything driving at night. You get as much power for your lighting as you got in your main battery pack. This is part of the battery management system. This is a 12 volt power supply. When the when it's chugged, plugged into the wall and the charging event is going on, you have to have power to control the BMS. And I didn't, you have to be anticipate the 12 volt battery in the car going dead. So we have a power supply that keeps that battery charged and powers the BMS. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take a quick peek under the hood. Okay, under the hood we've got power brakes and a vacuum pump for the power brakes. Um, this has got a coolant pump in it. The Zilla is liquid cooled, so it circulates antifreeze through the through the coolant. 
through the through the Zilla to keep it cool. There's a fan, 110 volt AC fan that blows air through the armature of the motor to keep it cool. This is the relays for the heating system. Uh, this is your 12 volt battery. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is your main 250 amp disconnect. Okay, got an Anderson connector here to shut things down if you to work on it. Okay, I think that's it. We're gonna go for gonna close the hood up. Put everything down. And put the Keep it on. Yeah. Go ahead and second gear and we're going to do a third third gear shift we made the shift we're going to go to fourth well we'll go to uh, oh did you hit your nose I'm sorry, I should have said I'm going to take off like a bullet. Did it hit you in the nose? Okay. <laughs> okay, and this shows us motor amps when I step on the throttle. Battery pack comes down a little bit because it's using current. This is our 12 volt staying pretty constant. The touch screen is pretty hard to see in the, in the light. Okay. You have one minute left. Okay, we're going to stop and I'm going to show you from the outside. Okay, you want to turn off the thing? 